Hi there, so today I'm going to be doing a video on the new lighting I've purchased for my unboxing area. So this is my unboxing area, I've got a Govi light at the back and the two lights, main lights for the unboxing are these two at the side. They've served me well over the time I've had them, no issues with them. Color wise it's just a single color on there and it's not adjustable in any way and if I come in close just to show halogen lights so quite fragile so if they do fall they will smash so I've already broken one already I thought it's time now to upgrade because what I was finding as I was doing my unboxings I was getting quite a lot of glare from the sides so a lot of bright light coming in from the side so I thought it's time to upgrade get something that I won't struggle with so these particular ones I've got details in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing they actually have flaps on the side so hopefully that should mask out the light coming onto my peripheral vision. Now in terms of functionality these lights also have adjustments for brightness levels, cool white, warm white. So the package has turned up in quite a large box. I'll open it up and show you what you get in there. Okay so I've laid out everything you get in the packaging so let me quickly go through it one by one. You get a remote control, customer satisfaction card, package content card, instruction manual all in English, get two boxes containing the stands. So let's open these up. Now looking at the two stands we have here, just to show how they can be adjusted, if I pull these down, you can see that's how it's done. And then you've got two adjusters at the top here and you can just pull them up like so. Build wise, doesn't feel too bad. Should be sufficient to obviously hold the lights and strong because it has the extra support at the bottom here just to give it that rigidity. Let's open up the lights. So it comes in a nice carry case, Velcro to lock the straps together and then zipped up. There we have it. In here there's nothing there. The light itself, put that aside. Power cable and power adapter there. Cable here has an EU plug on there, so I've got an adapter to allow me to use this. And the connection type is like so, just so you know. And cable length on this is 1.3 meters. Build quality feels good. Looking at the power adapter, you can see the output is 12 volts, 5 amps on there. And build quality of this cable feels good as well. And looking at the end of it, it's a DC connection on there and cable length of this is 1.6 meters. Carry case has foam in there to protect all the components, so that's quite nice. And it's nice having the carry case if you're going mobile with this and you're going out and about to use this somewhere else. The lighting itself, it's 21 centimeters by 23 centimeters. Build quality of it feels very good, nice and solid build to it. And you can see there, it even accepts batteries on there. So if you want it to be completely mobile, not plugging it into any power source, that's possible as well. You've got the adjustments here. So minimum, maximum, warm white, cool white, power point there for DC connection and battery adapter and then off in the middle. So if you flip over there, you've got battery and power adapter on this side. LCD screen there. Coming around the side, you've got adjustments here, so you can adjust it to your position, then lock it in position. All metal, and you've got a locking point there for the stand, so it just sits straight on the sand, and you can just tighten it up. Coming around here, you've got the flaps, and this is what I was after, just a mask off the side as I'm unboxing. Silica gel, there you go. That's the lighting itself. Thought that was a scratch, but now that's just a bit of dust there. There you go, there's a diffuser in there. This can be removed as well. So if I pull the flap down, push that down, that should come out. Looking at it at the side. You can see there, if I now take it out, There you go, and that's the LEDs revealed underneath that. So build-wise, it does feel really good, and I love the fact it's got the flaps at the side, so hopefully, so I should get less eye strain while unboxing. Let me open up the other one, just have a quick check, and exactly the same as you can see. Power adapter, power cable, and the lighting, everything's identical. Now setting up the stand with the lighting is very simple. Just pull it out as I've already shown. Gently pull it out, 
and then it comes down like so you can adjust it to your requirements and then just lock it into position once that's locked you can pull these up and lock them in we'll pull this one up and next just get the the light and the way it fits on is straight on top like so so that way it locks into this area so I was looking if it was possible to do it this way not really because it doesn't sit in properly on there and if you did have it like this you can see adjustments are limited then on the side you wouldn't be able to really open this up that well so it should go this way to correctly set up make that nice and tight and then I can make the necessary adjustments here and you can see there you got lots of flexibility with the lighting then let's get this device connected up so I have one of these adapters I'll put a link in the description below if anyone's after these really useful so if you have any devices with EU plugs on there you can just plug it straight into that and you've got a UK socket next to plug this in get the DC power adapter bring it up from there plug it in there and I'll plug in the other end device is now plugged in if I flip over to battery nothing happens obviously because there's no batteries in there that's off and that's on and there you go see it straight away let me adjust it if I loosen that there you go brightness levels are really high on there now on the back itself you've got a percentage level so if we adjust the value here minimum maximum there's no stop point so you can just keep turning it but the percentage level there changes so you know you've reached a minimum maximum so that's zero there nothing's coming out and there you go maximum brightness and then with this keep changing it goes higher and higher and the maximum is 5600 so that's the cool white and if I go the other way go to the lowest level there 3200 so that's a warm white with that and it's as simple as that really now the remote control takes two AAA batteries so I've got some rechargeable ones here put that in and press the button there you go and now if I press there turns it off so this is just to turn the remote on and off and if I now press the button it can adjust the values on there as you can see and this changes the brightness levels on there so if I press the on it's brighter and off so pretty cool you've got a remote on there so if it's not convenient you're actually facing the lighting at least you can remotely adjust it an interesting option with the lights and the remote is the fact that you can either control them all at the same time so you could have up to 10 lights being controlled off the remote or you could control individual lights now each light has a channel if you look there CH0 and if I look on the other one it's got CH1 now looking on the remote you can see CH88 and that means you can control all the lights at the same time now if I hold on to that for a second it starts flashing and if I go down the numbers the lowest it goes to is 1 it doesn't go to 0 and 10 and then 88 so looking at the light here it's got channel 0 so that's no good you can't individually control that so you can change it so now if I turn the remote back on hold on to the M button you can see it's flashing away where it says CH0 and if I look on the other one stopped flashing let me hold on to it again it started flashing again so this is where you can change the numbers so CH1 is fine so I need to change this one stopped already let me hold on to it started flashing if I change it it's now 1 change it again and it's now 2 let's leave it for a moment and it stopped so now I should be able to individually control it now if I come further back looking on the remote it's at 88 and just to show both going down right and now if I go to that and change it to number two press the memory again and only a single lights come on 
and now if I flip over to one you can see that one's come on it's a very cool functionality so up to 10 lights are supported on this and you can individually control or control them all together at the same time now I've plugged in both lights you can see the advantage I've got at the moment so the short cable coming over here is off the old lighting and the new one has ample so that's much better I was struggling a little bit with how short the existing wires were so a bit of an irritation there really and now looking at the remote you can see both being controlled that's at that let's change that one you can see for yourself both controlled at the same time nice and flexible next just to show the different lighting I have in the studio so the light at the back is a Govi dream color and I'll include a link in the description below if you're after a similar thing so you can change colors on there as well and you've got dream color so you can actually have multiple colors on the strip at the same time now if I turn my old lights on that's what the brightness levels are like and obviously I can adjust the lights as they're in position but I can't change brightness levels so that's how it used to look now I've put the new lighting in position so I'll use the remote to make the adjustments so at the moment it's on the highest warm white level and if I now turn it on there you go and for me standing back it's made a considerable difference so in my peripheral vision I'm not getting all the light coming on me anymore which is a, a massive relief really it was driving me absolutely crazy how bright it was at the sides and there you go that's warm white so now if I flip over to the cool white see if I increase this value and it goes to and there you go that's the maximum cool bright level and I can turn it down as well so a massive upgrade for myself next just to show the brightness levels coming directly off the light itself so if I turn it on just brighten it up you probably lose focus on the remote but I'll carry on so that's at the maximum now and now if I flip over to warm white just so you can see and that's at the maximum level for warm white on there next to show the brightness levels coming onto a white wall just to give you an idea so that's the warm white and I'll just take that up to the maximum that's the maximum and now if I flip over to cool white you can see it transitioning and there you go that's the maximum on cool white and that's off just a single light so there you go hope it's helped anyone looking for photography or video equipment lighting I think these lights are ideal so for my setup as a youtuber doing unboxing videos it's a lifesaver only because the flaps at the side they can take out all the peripheral light that's coming in from the sides it is quite painful when you're recording and you have all this light coming in and the fact you can flip between warm and cool light so there you go details are in the description below thanks for viewing and don't forget to like comment and subscribe